Hey guys, this is uh, Rebel Fierce Productions. This is vlog number one. The reason I erased all the other vlogs is because it's 2013, so it's a new year, and I decided to do different material than I originally intended to with my YouTube channel. So this is technically vlog number one, and this is going to be some of the stories that we have of people that live around my city, which is Carrollton. <laughs> so yeah. Okay guys, this is my best friend and lovely assistant tonight, uh, Lindsay Kendrick Smith. I know hey. your middle name's not Kendrick's, but whatever. Um, yeah. She's gonna tell us a little bit about prom dress lady. Why don't you tell us about prom dress lady? Okay, well there's this lady that I first noticed about probably eight months ago that she likes to come around the areas of Carrollton. You'll see her around similar areas in my town. She likes to walk around in different prom dresses. You'll see her in a different one every day. I don't think I've ever seen her not in a prom dress, and she'll wear heels. She likes to walk around highways in heels in a prom dress, and you'll see her on the side of the road crying, laying down, like face down, crying for no reason. She likes to ask people for cigarettes every time you see her. She's an interesting person. Uh, this one time, my friend, John, told me that he was at the the pub drinking with some of his friends and she comes up and asks them if they would buy them a drink. If she, fucked up. It's okay. She asked them if they would buy her and her friend a drink. And they looked at her and they said, who are you talking about? You're by yourself. And she said, no, right here, my friend. And there was nobody standing there. And this lady's probably about, I don't know, in her late 30s maybe. So, kind of weird. And people said that she, they've tried to sit down next to her and talk to her and ask her what's wrong and she'll be like, don't sit there, Jesus is sitting there. What? So apparently she's schizophrenic, I don't know what's wrong with her, but she had a baby at one point, she was pregnant, somehow she lost her kid because of the drugs that she chooses to do. They, they said they've seen her walking around with a handful of pills and she'll just take a bunch of them at once. So she's an interesting person, I haven't seen her in a few months, but... You'll see her walking everywhere. Yeah, she's been around. Any time of the day, day or night, she'll be walking in prom dresses. Here, take it here real quick. One time, one time I saw her in front of my bank, which is like over that way, and the cops had her pulled over on the sidewalk, and she was again wearing like a prom dress, and it was like a bright pink prom dress, and she had like this box of prom dresses <laughs> with her. And I don't know what was going on, but I just, I've seen her walking around, so yeah, that's prom dress lady, and... That's story number one. Okay, the next person we're going to talk about tonight is 85 Cent, a.k.a. Frank. Okay, this guy's been around ever since, like, I was 18. I'm 22 now, so he's definitely been around for four years. And almost every single night, without fail, he shows up to the square and is asking people for 85 cents. Like... Why 85 cents? Like, why not just a full fucking dollar or something? But no, he asked for 85 cents. He's just like this old dude that walks around. And I remember one time, like, I always try to be nice to him because I kind of feel bad for him. And, like, I never really have any extra money to give to him, so I'll give him a cigarette. But one time I was sitting with my friend Zombie Josh, and, um, were you there when this happened? Yeah. Okay, so Frank comes up to me, right? He's this really old, homeless looking dude. And he comes up and he's like, yeah, a cigarette. And I was like, yeah. And like, he's like, you look pretty today. And I was like, well, thank you. And he's like, well, what did he say? He was like, you you need like a man or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and he like, comes up and hugs a man. He puts his arm around me and I was just like. And then you told what? Zombie Josh. I told to Zombie Josh and I was like, well, I looked at Zombie Josh and I was like, this is my boyfriend. I'm sorry. And 85 cents like, well, it's okay. We can, or no, Zombie Josh said, well, it's okay. We can share. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, Zombie? Really? <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> shit pissed me off and then one time I'm like so from that point on like for some reason 85 took a liking to calling me shoddy and so one day he came up to the square and started calling me shoddy and I just looked at him and I was like don't you ever fucking call me shoddy again I'm not your shoddy we ain't that close so don't I ain't do about that. that life I ain't about that life I ain't even all about that so that's the story of 85 cent and now, Lindsay's going to tell us about Ogre Guy. Tell us about Ogre Guy, Lindsay. Okay, so one weekend night, me and my boyfriend were at one of his neighbor's houses playing pool, you know, 
just chilling. And he has a roommate that lives upstairs, and they like to call him the ogre. Because he will creep on any lady that comes in, no matter what her age is, what she looks like, he creeps on her. So I was playing pool, you know, doing my thing. He comes down there, and the first thing he asks me is if I'll give him a hug. So I gave him like a, you know, fake side air hug kind of thing. Air hug. <laughs> and the whole night, I kid you not, he's been creeping on me and staring at my ass every time I shoot for pool, and I got creeped the fuck out. My boyfriend almost had to knock him out. He was just creepy. So he asked me, he looks at me and asks me if I will pee on his car for good luck. And I was like, no, sir, I'm not going to pee on nobody's car. I'm sorry. And he would not give it up. He wanted me to piss on his car. On the hood of his car, just, you know, take a squat and just piss on it. And I was like, no, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not going to do any of that. And this man is just old and really fat and literally looks like an, an ogre. And then he told me something really strange. He told me, he looked at me and said, you know what, you probably have very small ovaries. And I just looked at him and I was like, excuse me? I was like, I don't. I don't know what to say to that, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I might, I guess. And he would not stop staring at me the whole night. He got really pissed off because I wasn't, I wouldn't give him a hug, pretty much. And then he left and it was really fucking creepy. And I was creeped out all night. And that's the story of o And that's the stories that we have of people of Carrollton for tonight. And I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope that this you know takes away some of the rainy Monday night blues for all you guys and you got laughs so doodles till the next vlog